What's up all my YouTube viewers and hobbyists out there? I'm here to give you guys an unboxing of my first piece of jewelry actually from Amazon.com. I was inspired to do this review simply because I know it's hard to make a purchase on jewelry over the internet and stuff like that. The product is not inside your face, it's not inside your hands, so it's hard to really gauge and see and have an idea of you know sometimes for the most part have an idea of what the piece may look like in person or what how it may look on you and just overall when it comes to size so that's the main thing the size of these pieces of jewelry and stuff like that i know a lot of people will be having questions on and if it's worth it when it comes to price compared to how much you get and the quality of it the details of it if it's the same as the picture i know a lot of these vendors be misleading so that's the reason why i'm doing this review so this is to break it down to explain the reason why i decided to personally pick up this piece my birthday is coming up august 5th and um i'm a leo my mom's also a Leo too. Her birthday is actually two days before mine's um, on August 2nd. So I got her a piece coming as well. Not this particular piece, but I got me and her something else coming. But um, yeah, I wanted me something like, you know, a little lion head, what a, you know, and I like that it has a crown on top of it because your boy is a king. So anyways, on to the product itself. Now let's start it off with the actual details of it. So from top to bottom, it's a little more than an inch from side to side. Uh, at its widest point, it's a little under an inch. Now, the charm is kind of small, smaller than I expected. You know, I, I did want it to be a little, I did expect it to be a little bit uh, bigger, you know, just a little bit. For what it is, it's, it's, let me explain it like this. It's small, but it's not the bad type of small. There's small, there's small charms that I see people with and stuff and be wearing and stuff. And they're real, real, real small. It's not like that, you know what I'm saying? Actually, if you were to get the small size, it probably would be like that. The large size, it's a nice little size. It's not, like I said, it's not a big size, but think about it, you're buying real gold. So think about how much gold you're getting and versus the price that you're paying. You know, this for me was a little bit under $200. Um, it is 10 karat, even though I have it inside a 14 karat box. It just, I felt like that's what it should have came inside this particular box, something like this, just to make it nice and presentable and stuff like that. Um, it came inside a little cardboard box, taped clothes, wrapped inside something else, which was nice and, and secure, but it wasn't nice and presentable, you know. Um, if I'm selling gold, I want to make it presentable to the person where it's like, you know, because it's an investment, you know. It's not 14 karat, it's 10 karat. The 14 karat one is like $75 more or $80 more, which isn't bad. It's like $260 something dollars. This one's $189. And the reason why I didn't get the 14 karat because it's a small piece and 14, 10 karat got a little bit more metal than it has gold. So if it does hit against something, snag on something, because it is a thin piece. And I love that it's see-through. That's one of the main things that uh, started selling me on it because, and I, that's the reason why I wish it was a little bit bigger because the detail is good and it's see-through. So whatever shirt you got on under it, a red shirt, a blue shirt, a green shirt, like all the colors show up under the uh, charm. So that's that's pretty dope and unique. And then the uh, bell opening is four millimeters. So if you got a chain that's uh, under four millimeters thick, then this can fit that. So by showing a comparison to my finger, it makes it seem like it's super, super small. But it's like I said, it's not bad small. You know, it's small, but not the bad type of small. You know, now if you did want something bigger, like, you know, if that actually is literally too small for you because you wanted something bigger, then, you know, go ahead and spin. I'd say a charm that's like much bigger than this one that costs you around like, 600 to 800 dollars easy you know maybe even to a thousand um then other than that folks i really really like oh that's one thing i forgot to mention the details of it uh, i really really love the details of this uh, charm itself the details is on point i love all the different cuts and everything like it looks exactly like the picture you know what i'm saying exactly like it and even better it's super super shiny extremely shiny you know you have no issue with the shine whatsoever with this piece the exact moment i put it on within less than an hour I had got a compliment and people looking at it and stuff like that so yeah it's a nice little piece so with that being said all my YouTube viewers out there and hobbyists out there thank you guys for watching this video if it helped you out to make a purchase or to not make a purchase go ahead and leave a like down below yeah I had fun doing this helping people out because like I be in the same boat man like shopping around looking at different things and like damn I wish somebody made a damn video about this like I'm always honest when it comes to my reviews and stuff even though I do I do leave a link down in the description to Amazon so I can make a kickback from you guys purchases I'm still honest when it comes to my reviews like for example my upcoming JBL earphones they suck they don't completely suck but the standards of JBL and what we know from JBL you know the fact that they're supposed to be JBL they suck you know 
but they're not bad earphones but they suck and i'm gonna be honest with that so i'm not the type that trying to give good reviews so people can make a lot of purchases so i can you know increase my kickbacks i get and stuff like that like i'm, I'm an honest person you can't even pay me to be fake so with that being said thank you guys for watching hey subscribe if you want somebody that's real boom so with that being said, all my YouTube viewers and hobbyists out there, that's going to wrap it up for this uh, unboxing. Well, not really unboxing, but review of my first piece of jewelry or a piece of Amazon jewelry. And damn, fuck, redo that. So with that being said, people of YouTube and all my hobbyists out there, that's going to wrap it up for this YouTube video. A lot, damn. So with that being said, people of YouTube and all my hobbyists out there, that's going to wrap it up for this Amazon jewelry review. Um, try and say that five times fast.